So I'm about to put a Boston butt roast on the grill. And I just want you guys to see how big it is. And I want you guys to see all the pepper, the flavor, the seasoning, everything that's on it. So far, I have the smoked paprika. I have a little bit of garlic and pepper seasoning. Just a little bit of jerk, Jamaican jerk seasoning. Um, I'm about to put some, I have olive oil on there. That's the first thing I put on there. I soaked it in a little apple cider vinegar before I start seasoning it. Uh, I'm going to put a little parsley flakes on there, a little garlic, um, garlic seasoning. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Am I missing? I may throw some onions just, you know, in the inside just to give it that flavor because I'm going to cover it and put it on the grill. But I am going to add some uh, honey Dijon mustard and um, some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, a Worcestershire sauce. However, the Northerns pronounce it. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce. Um, so that's going to be for the butt roast and then I'm going to cover it with the aluminum foil and I'm going to put it on the grill and I'm going to smoke it. Alright, stay tuned people. show y'all how I normally prepare my salmon before I put it on the grill. The first thing is I take the um, the, 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 the wood uh, boards and I soak them in water. Make sure they're really soaked good before um, you place them on the grill. Then I take my salmon already pre-washed. I put a little olive oil on my salmon before I season it. Hey, give me the garlic butter out of there. And then I put a little um, Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning on there. If you have Obey, you can use Obey, but I, I happen to be out of Obey today, so I'm, that's why I'm using the Cajun seasoning. Because I forgot to check my cupboards and 
see that I needed Obey. Uh, I'm going to put just a little sprinkle of sea salt on there, just a little bit, not too much. A little small paprika, just a little bit, not too much, so I'm going to give it a little flavor. Later on, I'm going to put some lemons on there. I'm going to dash a little red pepper flakes on there, just a little bit. Cause heavy like it smoked and spicy. So when I cook, I have to cook to please him. I like everything spicy, including me. <laughs> okay, now I'm putting a little parsley flakes on there. And then now I am going to add just a little another little coat of olive oil just a little bit so all you gals out there that's looking to cook a meal for your husband or grill on the grill i'm showing you all my little secrets once you do it like this i'm telling you they're gonna love you forever now you can put a little garlic seasoning pepper on there if you want to or you can uh, leave it as it is because it really is already uh, cooked. I mean, uh, seasoned really well. That's going to give it the flavor. And once you put it on the grill, it's really going to give it that flavor. Now I'm putting some garlic butter. That's garlic butter. I'm just going to put pieces of garlic butter on top. Just going to lay it on top there. So while it's smoking and grilling, that garlic butter is gonna, just going to sear down into the salmon and give it a good garlic flavor. That's why I didn't put the garlic salt on there because I don't want to overdo it knowing that I'm using this garlic butter. But that's going to make it even more tender and juicy, you guys. It's going to be so good. That grilled smoke flavor is going to stay in this salmon as you reheat it later on in the week. Oh my God. You're going to be licking your fingers. Okay, so now that's ready to go out onto the grill. So I'm just going to give you a quick, you can see that, give you a quick little close up. Quick little close up on the salmon so you can see what it looks like seasoned. You see all the parsley flakes, the red pepper flakes, the smoked paprika on there, the garlic butter, everything, the sea salt. Everything's on there, so now this baby's about to go onto the grill. Y'all know what it is. It's grill time. This is how we do it. <laughs> Weekend, baby. Show you what we got on the grill so far. We're plank salmon, grilled salmon. That big boy right there is the Boston butt roast for pulled pork. He's simmering in that aluminum. We got the shrimp. We got those burgers back there. Mom Dukes like all the burgers. We got some sausages up there and onions. I'm about to put some pineapples on the grill as we speak. We gonna grill us some pineapple, y'all. See that? But y'all don't know nothing about the grill pineapples on the grill. Amateur, amateur grillers. So you got amateur grillers. Got to know how to put them pineapples on the grill. Don't hate me, thank me, okay? That's all I'm saying. Don't hate me, thank me. But that's how you do it. Don't hate me, thank me, baby. DJ, where the music at? Once I take them burgers off. Y'all, they're gonna butt roast. He done boiled a little bit, done cooked a little bit now. Gonna simmer him on the grill. So I'm 
gonna let him simmer on the grill, get that good grill flavor. Then I'm gonna take this juice that he cooked in in aluminum foil. I'm gonna brown it, add a little brown sugar, a little Worcestershire sauce, and some other seasoning to it. And then I'm gonna let him cook and a little barbecue sauce, simmer it down. And I'm going to let it cook. And then I'm gonna put the, pull the butt apart. And from there, we're gonna make us some good pulled pork. Everything else is off the grill. I'm about to take these salmons in and eat these pineapples. Everything else is off the grill. Okay, so I just took the um, pulled pork, the Boston butt roast that I smoked on the grill. I put it back in the oven in these juices. See that? Put it in the oven. Let it cook some more in its own little juices. And it's about ready to be pulled apart. Yay! Other than using just my hands to rip it apart, but because it just came out the oven, it's still a little hot, and I'm gonna use that. I just kind of gonna let you guys see how there's the meat, guys. See that? So really, when you pull it, you don't pull it apart. You just kind of pull it apart like that. That's what they call pull apart. pork y'all that's how it should pull apart just like that just shred it that's how I like to do mine just shred it apart see that big piece of chunk Pull pork is give you a close up. than what it is but I just want you guys to kind of see what it looks like um, coming off the bone and there's a big bone right here that I gotta pull out of there but yep that's it Took these potatoes and I baked them in an oven and then I cut the top part off 
I took a ice cream scooper and scooped out all of the potato. Now I have it in a bowl. And what I'm gonna do now is I add my seasoning to the bowl, a little milk, butter, and I'm gonna mash it together and just mix it. And then I'm gonna place it back into the potato, almost like a cream potato. I'm making it almost like a cream potato. If you see there, it's almost like a cream potato. So I'm gonna um, put it in there and then I'm just gonna take it and put it right back inside of the potato. And then I'm gonna place it on the grill and let the grill give it that real nice caramelized um, taste. I'm gonna put just a little whipped cream in there. A little bit more salt. And that's it, people. And now all I'm gonna do is fill the potatoes back up, just like so. Just put all the stuffing back in the potatoes. I'm gonna put them all back in the potatoes. Make sure they all have enough potatoes. What you wanna do, you want your potatoes to look nice and full and fluffy and you want them to Look appetizing while they're on the grill. That's what we're aiming for, people. That's exactly what we're aiming for. Okay. So what I'm gonna do with this extra one here, since I have an extra one, I'm not actually gonna put that on the grill. All I'm gonna do is take take the inside of that out because I like my potatoes to look really, really fluffy. So what I'm gonna do is take that potato and just kind of mash the potato up. I'm gonna take a little whipped cream because one of the potatoes doesn't look as, as full. So you always cook an extra potato just to make sure that you have enough and that it's looking as full and fluff as you want them to be. You know? A little bit more creamier. And that's really... My hands are clean, so... Now, now that I have that done, what I'm gonna do now is sprinkle a little salt on these babies. I'm gonna put a little red pepper flakes just to make them look good. A little parsley flakes on top of them. And then I'm gonna put what I like to call potato topping. And you can get that from anywhere from um, any of your grocery stores. So I like to put those on top. And now these babies are ready to go to the grill. That's it. I'm about to show you what the grill looks like. Burgers, sauce.
sausages, hot dogs, they're already in the house. The ribs are already in the house. Now we got the, um, the bacon stuffed uh, potatoes on the grill. Uh, it ain't nothing she can't cook on the grill. Grill mouse grilling is better than yours. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey y'all. Got Mom Dukes over there in the corner. Look at Mom Dukes and my sister Deborah. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. Y'all for, uh, forgive the hair. I washed it today and I didn't do it. But grilling, y'all. Grilling. We grilling, y'all. <laughs> Back to the grill. Back to the grill. Back to the grill. You got them uh, T bone steaks, bacon wrapped peppers, stuffed peppers. We got those uh, bacon uh, stuffed potatoes, the corn with the bacon wraps up there. We got the sirloin tips, the bacon on top of it. Yeah, yeah, that's the bacon sirloin. Then we got the salad. birthday to me yes live and let live baby do it great or don't do it at all